Good morning, campers. Welcome back to the Cut the Camera podcast. It is your host, Nicholas Cerniolo. Matthew Cerniolo. Boom. I want like a guitar to play next time I introduce myself. I'm like, it's Chris. Bam! Like that. Like um, in Phineas and Ferb. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like the like a one strum. All yes, play, like you know? a chord. Like, whew. Okay. We can that's arrange Chris. that. And that's, I'm Chris and I'm here and I'm ready to film and I'm excited and here we are, episode number 23, like Michael Jordan. Wow. This has to be the GOAT episode then. Best one we've ever filmed. Mick, you were about to say something before we started. What were you going to say? Oh, I was going to say, I just had an entire Red Bull and I've started to realize, I think that instead of energy drinks giving me like severe amounts of like outbursting energy, all they do is keep me awake at night. <laughs> wow! Like okay. I could drink a Red Bull right before I'm about to go to bed, and like still feel so physically tired and not gain lots of like energy, like my heart and like my brain, like my body functions. That's what energy drinks do. Yeah, that's what they do. Yeah, but that's it. Like I'm still. You also drink them exhausted. too fast. Like when people have Red Bull, they like sip on it. You like destroy yours in like I a like millisecond. My chin feels like soaking wet right now. It's not. It's not. It's not wet. Okay, it's dry. Okay, it just like feels like I'm like you're like the weirdest kid. It does like I was concerned. I have water on me. No water. No water. Okay, I have a couple things to mention before you get into our podcast. Okay, go ahead. I just saw a TikTok and it made me laugh of someone ordering a Dur Burger at a drive thru and the Slurp Juice, and I think we should do it. We're not doing that. We have to do it. Let's like talk about relevant things. Correct. What? I'm not ordering a Dur Burger. You're just being silly. No, it's just a funny funny TikTok that I saw. A Dur Burger, I feel like it's easy, but like, what are they going to give you if if you ask for a Slurp Juice? A Sprite? That's what I would do. All right, dude. Next topic. No, another TikTok that I just saw that was so funny. It was like when the waiter asks asks if I want a box for my food. Like, nah, you can just have it. Like that's not it, funny at all. Like he was gonna like box him for it, like fist fight. Oh, and he's like, "Nah, you can just have it." <laughs> I think that's hilarious. I'm not amazed or uh, amazed. Is <laughs> amazed. Yeah, uh, that's I, don't, yeah, yeah I don't think he expected you to be amazed. Yeah, I wasn't trying to dazzle you, Matt. I was just trying to fucking. <laughs> You're just weird. He was just telling just you something. Weird. Like you correct. To laugh, maybe. You just have little old. jokes in your back pocket. He wanted you to be a. What was that thing I was gonna say on the podcast? Earlier today, and I started ranting to one of you, and it drives me nuts. I don't know. It was when our... Th- oh, my God, I hate it. When, like, Sterniolo style, or, like, Sterniolo, like... Full, full or, like, Sterniolo crazy. closet, or, like... I, I don't follow know. Sterniolo I think they're closet, cool accounts. Like, okay, yeah, they want to know what we're wearing and stuff. But I hate when they get them wrong. And it's, like... I know it's obviously, like, a hard thing to, like, get exactly what we're correct wearing. Correct them. But even if they don't get the right price, like, it drives me insane. Just correct them. Just if they post it and it's wrong, just comment wrong. No, because then that takes too much time out of my day. If you're like, seeing it and it's comment. if you're seeing it and you're letting it bother you. All right, see next it. topic. No, I'm like wrong. scrolling through and I see it and I see that it's so wrong. I'm like, oh my god, Chris, you want to know what I? Noticed? There's no harm you in just saying I about the internet? wrong. You want to know what I noticed about the internet? What, Matt? Fifty to not fifties, literally like lowballing it. Seventy-five to. 90% of shit you see on the internet is also wrong across the board. You're wrong. It's everything. It's crazy that it, t- so, it takes one person in like the random boredness of their own home to just comment something for it to become like a cycle. Apparently, I'm in six different relationships right now and I don't know any of them. So, yeah. People Wild. are weird on the internet, It's a crazy bro. situation to be in. It's just bizarre. Anyway, let's get into the meat and potatoes of today's podcast. Chris, all right, today we have an absolute classic banger for you guys. It's East Coast versus West Coast, which is a classic debate. Okay. Classic You're so debate. weird. Like, according to who? You're so this is weird. a classic debate, Nick. East Coast versus West Coast. It's a classic debate. It's, like, classic. You're so weird. You're not helping me by just repeating yourself. Tell me it's not. It's like, this is, like, this one of the world's classic. biggest debates, like, in the U.S. Like, oh, my God, East Coast versus West I don't Coast. Think like, what's it's better? it's really that serious ever. It definitely is. This is, like, a like a for real thing. People talk about this all the time. Okay, but we're talking about it today. Let's keep Correct. it going. Correct. So, let's keep it going. Here we go. All right. <clears throat> well, I know what's crazy. Go what? ahead. We spent way more of our life, like, way more of our life on the East Coast than the West Coast. But, like, since, like, the West Coast is the newest part, I just feel like I've been here more. But I haven't. I grew up on the East Coast. 
I'm so shocked you're, I'm s- it's taking you this episode to realize that fact. I've already us. fucking realized that, Nick. I'm just saying, like, it's crazy. Anyway. Well, I'm also happy you brought that up, Matt, because that helps me segue right into this next topic awesome. here, Go which is, um, do you consider yourself East Coasters or West Coasters? East by far. East Coasters. I by agree. Far, by far. It's agree. wherever miles you spend, by landslides. It's wherever you grow up. You could be born in California and then at, like, two years old, fly to the East Coast and then, like grow up in the east coast and fly back here at like 18 and i'd say you're an east coaster i agree even if you're like 30 we need to draw it's more about like, where you grow up i think it's just classic like it's og like writing something down. og what are you writing down just say idea. it nope just ignore me okay whatever ignore him um what was it like growing up on the east coast Oh, I got crickets in the Because <laughs> that's a dumb question. No, it's not. What was it like to grow up on the East Coast? The reason Tell that's a dumb stories. question is because when people always ask us, like, oh, what's it like being triplets? I'm like, I don't know what it's like not to be a triplet. I Therefore, like, I grew up on the East Coast. I don't know what it's like to not grow up on the yeah, East Coast. Yeah, but that's Coast. the bullshit I don't want to talk into. You're asking me how You're my podcast entire microphone. childhood was. Just talk. I loved growing up on the East Coast. Thank you, I Matt. Say, I would say being in LA for how long have we been, like, coming out here? Two and a half years almost? Yeah, pretty much. I'd say, like... Growing up there and like coming here, like I look at like where we're at now, and I'm like, if I grew up in like the neighborhood that I'm in now, <laughs> what are you laughing at, Nick? Grew- no, keep going. Just say it. It was the way Matt said there. It's okay. Like there. I go, like can't go. I just go. Just go. I can never speak. With, like, Ignore I him. Love. Speak. I can Matt. never speak. With, oh, like, blah like, blah blah. Up, or, like, it was just a funny thing. Oh. Like I, I was trying not to bring attention to it. You guys talk, asked. Matt. Go. Yeah, and I don't make. Shut up. Go. I don't bring attention to the, the, half the stupid shit you guys say. So. Oh, God. He's anyway. Tough. I'm not tough. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. God. Okay. okay. Go ahead. I would, I'd like looking at like the Quit West dragging Coast. the leaves around. Pick your head up a bit. The like leaves are on my neck, Nick. It's kind of impossible to not drag them well, around. Well, it's like you look. I just feel bad. Your back looks like broken. My back feels great. Okay. You're Come worried on. about too many of the just go. things just here. Just go. Just go. go. Um, looking at like the West Coast and how I'm living now, I would hate have being here as like a child like growing up like going to friends house and stuff i agree i think part of being on the east coast and being able to like like walk to school and not being at like a fucking 40 minute drive or like not being like in the dead city and sun every single day was amazing in the east coast yeah i agree i think that like i think especially for childhood and just like growing up i think the east coast is way more like building like as a person than the West Coast. Like you just learn more and you do more on the East Coast and the West Coast in my That's crazy. Opinion. That's a crazy. I just feel like it grow if you grew up in LA, I feel like you grow up too fast. You know what I mean? Like do you know like when people say like, oh nowadays like fourteen year olds act like they're like like eighteen or like kids are growing up so fast. You know yeah. what I'm talking about? I feel like I feel like the West Coast like ages you faster. Where the East Coast kind of keeps you grounded and more simple. You know what I mean? Well, that's because also when you were on the East Coast, you were a kid. I know that, but I feel like it's just like, I don't know what it is about it, but it's like... No, I agree with that. And also, I feel like for some, like a general takeaway that I have just from living in both places is I feel like, I feel like the East Coast is just safer. Yeah. Which is sure. a really weird, like broad announcement to make, but I genuinely feel more just like constantly I feel like we're, in danger we're thinking, on the East Coast, well, on the West Coast. We're also thinking just Boston weird. and LA. You have to think of like other places and stuff. Yeah. I feel like, uh, first of all, it's just like, bro, I feel like there's more time. This is going to sound so cringe. Oh, I hate when like a cringe sentence pops into my head and now I like just have to say it, even though it's like, I it's okay. Like spies it's using all right. terms like this, but I feel like there's more elig like you're more uh, eligible to make like core memories. Oh, <laughs> in the East Coast, like actually, um, like because I feel like like West Coast, like growing up and walking to school with friends, walking to your local pizza joint with your friends after school, going to like the little city things and going like thrifting and going. Well, like, I just playing like- in the leaves, playing in the snow. Like it's so much more like easier to make memories on the east coast than it is on the west coast like oh my god you have to drive to school oh you want to go to a friend's house everyone has to drive you like there like it just seems so like the east coast just seems more just like like more like everybody knows each other like yes. constantly like everybody knows everybody in the neighborhood you know what i mean i yeah. cannot tell you maybe it's just because i'm not social like we don't have kids we're not in school yeah so it's like 
I think part of it is just like we're not as active of members in our community as we were when we lived on the East Coast. Yeah, true. I I agree. So it's like where you're kind of throwing shit at the wall and hoping it sticks, but it's like okay. what you're saying doesn't really make that much sense. But I understand what you're saying. What was your view of the West Coast like before we came here? Hot. Yeah. What else? I That's feel like it. my like you got one word. No, I feel like my really perspective hot. was super different than like what it is now. I agree. I didn't really expect it to be as like industrial. I agree. For sure. Like there's like a lot of just like construction. Yeah, I agree. I feel like, I don't know. For me, I just always thought like LA was this like, like insanely like glamorous thing, but it really isn't crazy. It's not. And I feel like, like, I think that anywhere could be. What LA does, it's just LA. Well, everyone just tries. Like if everyone, if everyone like famous and popular and business oriented just went to New York, New York would be the new. Well, LA New York is just minutes. like also as like known. I mean, yeah, but space. I'm talking like. Well, I feel like it's also Alabama just like Alabama everything too, here is like just a much bigger deal and like not as like casual, which I don't like. Like it seems yeah. like making friends and like outings and stuff is like everyone's trying to be something they're not and trying to do something all like ooh whoopee and grand like everything is like up like to a millionth scale and it's like really scary i agree kind of was i about to, i was about to say something like like totally it just like flew away i need to start like like um Keeping a mental notepad so that way I don't lose a mental thoughts. notepad. The second I think of something, you need a non mental It just notepad. goes That's so quick. Problem. Like, I don't know what it is, but I literally think of something and it leaves my head like almost the, in the same moment of time. It's just like, whoop, gone. Wow. Forever. Yeah. Go ahead. You were about to say. I don't know what I was going to say either. No, I don't know. What thinking of the West Coast, I always you used to think it was like this big glamorous thing, like, ooh, fancy. I think one thing that really like made me sad is once I stopped caring about like palm trees. Growing like growing up on the East Coast, first Damn. ever coming to the West Coast, I would get so excited to see like palm trees and stuff. And then once it like lost its specialness to me, that's when I was like, damn, that's kind of sad. You know what I mean? Yeah, I like I've you. been here so much that like palm trees don't even it's the same with like flying and stuff. When I was like, when we were younger and we would go on trips that required like planes and flying somewhere, I'd be so excited and like have so much fun. But like, especially going on tour now and especially like just visiting back and forth like so much and going to all these different places, flying like kind of lost its magic to me and it makes me really upset and sad. I, I fully agree. Like, I that. miss like going to the airport and being excited and like really. Like, and sometimes I just sit back and think a little bit and I'm like, damn, let me just like think like little East Coast Chris before I left anywhere, like how happy I would have been. Right. And it's like, bro, I used to get excited to just go anywhere on a plane. And now it's like whenever I'm on a plane and I'm like stressed out or bothered, I just like always try to think of like, damn, how happy would you have been? You know, mm. that's devastating. No, it's not. It's no, it real. kind of really is. No, like, it's I'm not. Kind of really sad. No, it's not. Okay, go. Okay, the next topic is food. What are some restaurants or grocery stores that they only have on the East Coast? Uh, Star Market, where we worked. All the grocery stores are different. Yeah. Every food item is better on the East Coast. Really? Arguably. Because we th this whole next topic is food, like Dunkin' Donuts versus Starbucks. Well, I, they have Dunkin's here now. They do, they but like... never had Dunkin's Okay, you Coast. want to know what I was thinking of the other day? That it made me feel like insane. Hold on. Poland Springs water. Oh, oh man, Matt, you just brought it up. There it is. Best water you'll ever get is Poland Springs water on the East Coast, and that's like probably the worst part about being out here now is I got to drink fucking, fucking Arrowhead. Arrowhead is the worst water. Pure life, right behind it. No, pure life ain't as bad. Arrowhead is Arrowhead. Like, Arrowhead is the one hundred percent worst water. Poland Springs is delicious, I dude. Hate Poland, I hate water, best. and I go home, and I see a Poland Springs, I gotta drink it. Dude, Poland Got Springs to. is amazing. It's the best water that's in the, the that world. Was, that's for sure the worst part about... Like, that water takes the... Water category takes the takes the cake for me in the most important category on the whole food aspect of things. Yeah, the East Coast is just... Well, just in general, I just, like... I feel like food doesn't taste as good as I've gotten older. Is that the weirdest thing ever Your to say? Honestly, things. like no. I have not enjoyed Honestly, meals no. nearly as much in the think past three years as I you did. You want to know what kid. I think it is? I feel like I have like, like here's the world of food right here. This is what I've been eating my whole life, and there's so much other things to explore to the left and right of it. Mm -hmm. But I've stuck on the same food map my whole life. 
pasta, pizza, chicken, pasta, pizza, chicken, pasta, pizza, chicken, and like sweets and candies and shit. It's like all I eat is like the same it's shit. So burgers, gross. fries. We're disgusting. And I just eat the same shit every time. And I feel like everything has gotten worse in my eyes because I've just been like, oh, nothing like is like new anymore. I feel Do like you remember the excitement try- of like going home after school and eating like a bowl of Fruit Loops. Yes, I, we need to try more foods, Nick. That's like, the problem. What? We need to eat. More. That's See, the problem. You know what's and when you eat stuff life. like too frequently, it loses its magic. Like freshman year, I would always have peanut M and M's. I feel like I've said this before. Yeah. Peanut M and M's, peanut M and M's, and now I like can't even think of them the same. My I've, whole I like outdid it for myself. My whole life, I've been on the same. I don't know what it is. I've I never like eat food for taste. I'm never like, oh, this tastes good. Like that. I. I've been on a eat to survive fucking caveman mentality mentality my whole life. Yeah. I hate eating. I'll just eat because I have to to live. Other than that, don't care. I wish they got to invent like the like a little cube with everything you need for the day. You pop it in the morning. And you that sounds so gross and sad. No, it I would not want that. That's what I want to live for the rest of my no, life. Because some like chocolate cake and like, oh, see, I hate chocolate cake. I just chocolate cake. I become like a connoisseur. Isn't it crazy that like you have to eat? Every day. That beeping from yesterday. Yeah, it's back. Isn't it crazy that you have to eat every single day? It's okay. Whatever. We can't. Um, right. Yeah. Yeah, it is crazy. I think like, every I day like, I wake up and I'm just like, okay, what am I going to eat today? Wasting, okay, I'm going to bed. Like Our time first time meal we ate today was at like 6.30. Every single time I'm yeah, eating. We're yeah. gross. Oh every, my God. I'm every getting lightheaded. I'm eating, I just feel like I'm wasting time. Okay, let's just dial it back in. I fucking hate I, eating. I was thinking food. about the Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts debate, right? I, Starbucks is like just doing tricks, dude. Like they're like flipping around and stuff. Like keep it simple. What? Starbucks is also way more expensive. I just think Dunkin' Donuts is straight too. Like people I'm on the East Coast see, are like, okay, they don't want the on. fucking pizzazz. They don't want the I'm ooh, not, this to that, like the fancy names. Give me a nice coffee and then I'll go about my day. That's what the East I'm Coast is. I'm not a are coffee on. guy. I'm not a tea guy. I'm not like a breakfast fucking sandwich guy. I'm not yeah. a donut guy. So all this whole talk is relevant to me. You guys can have your conversation when you're done. And on to the next topic, let me know. No, but you want to know what I was thinking of the other day? Yeah, like, who's this guy? I don't, I don't even have words yeah, for like, how what I feel about that. What are you about talking about? Nah, nah. The Pope of fucking... Nah, nah, nah. I, don't have t- I don't have donuts or anything like that either. I'm, I'm just thinking... Dunkin yeah, we're just having better. a conversation. Correct. Dunkin' Donuts does remind me of, like, little kid. It's oh, and you have so little much kid, to say. Little kid going to hockey at, like, 5 in the morning. Dude... No, but based off what you were saying, I was talking about it's like feeling like a kid. I, whenever we're in LA and like we fly back and forth, so like whenever we go to Boston after being in LA, like yes, there's Dunkin' Donuts here, but I don't really go to them. That like all I want the moment I land in Boston Logan Airport is a egg and cheese on everything bagel. Or just a hot chocolate See, ne- at like no, 2 a.m. Hot chocolate's the, the vibe. I've never been. Oh my God, though. The, the 24 hour Dunkin' Donuts hoax. Drives me crazy. Insane. When they're like, oh, it's 24 hours. There's this Google one Dunkin' Donuts back home and it's 24, 24 hours. hours and we but it always try to go like, and it's like closed. If I show up, like, yeah, I don't like that. A I lot, hate when you're place, just lying. A lot of places do they that. They lying about your hours. And they say, oh, COVID, that was three years ago. COVID was literally like three years ago. Grow up. COVID don't cannot be next to me, first of all. That made me sick. Well, I was like, I don't know. Three COVID's years always ago been around. Sick. Whatever. Um, I think the whole, um, no, but yeah, I've always drank like Dunkin' Donuts shit really early in the morning. You have so much to say for like, you want to know what I was thinking? As opposed to like, it's the, it's no, it's just like, I usually wouldn't give you shit, but you're saying like, oh, I have nothing to say on this topic and then you won't shut up. Blah, 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 blah. Fix your mic. You're putting on, it in the way funny. of the camera. Um, what was I going to say? You always throw shit around. What was I going to say? God. In and out again. Oh, here we go. Um. I think it's the most, like, Boston shit ever that our parents met at a Dunkin' Donuts. Like, that's, like, the most East Coast thing ever. I think that's hilarious. I didn't know that. You didn't know that? Mom and Dad met at a Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, God forbid Matt Way's opinion. But it's it's just, like, Oh, crazy. I didn't know if I should speak about Dunkin' Donuts. You can always Donuts speak. It's just don't say, oh, I'm not going to talk at all about this until you guys Like, how eat. Boston like, is that? You literally yeah, that was randomly... Cool. That's, that's hilarious. It's literally so What's funny. Up? You randomly went on this tangent about oh you guys have your conversation and let me know when you're moving on to the next thing. and then y'all kept it going for like 20 minutes so obviously i'm gonna keep talking no, we didn't. you just kept talking what's up with the next one i can't believe how upset you get with little things like that oh, i'm it's not upset really embarrassed i'm not upset what are you then frazzled whatever matt like, what are you tough, dude you're just weird. are there tough. any more um oh my god i want to punch you right in the fucking lip go to the next bring one. it on punch me in the face 
You look so stupid. Go exactly. Don't do it. Oh my god. You're picking your nose. Stop I'm not picking, picking nose. my nose. I'm scratching it. It's itchy. Okay. Scratching the inside. Yeah, picking your nose. Like Go to the next. I'm not one. picking my nose. Picking Go my to nose. The next like one. like this. Like reaching for something. I'm literally scratching it. Like that. All right. Scratch your phone screen down to the next fucking. <laughs> You're topic. so tough. Oh my god. Watch out, guys. He's tough. You're so tough. Matt's on tough. Why do you mode? have sunglasses on your head? Because I want to. Been outside all day. The sun's actually been set since you woke up. Take this. How tough is this guy, everyone? This is how it is. Matt always just like go, keeps going, and now he's all set like this. I've been all set. <laughs> You're the oh, one that will oh, read oh, the next I'm topic. Tough. Watch I'll out! Up then. Watch out! Um, ahead, we're still on the same topic. What else is there more to talk what about? What other East Coast or West Coast food exclusives do you enjoy, Matt? That's There's what I so meant. many. I meant to get out of the Dunkin' Donuts one. Oh, um, we don't care. Shut up. Like pizza, pizza's better on the East Coast. <laughs> Nick's razzled by that. Pizza is better on the. I East feel Coast. like we've. I never, hate pizza. What? Like everybody likes pizza. I'm like such a, d- a dormant pizza eater. Like I'll have pizza if I need to eat, but I I don't enjoy a good pizza. I can't think of pizza that I love. Okay, he's whatever. Weird. Yeah, in L. A. What pizza is just so good? Prime pizza, delicious. That's L. A. That's L. A. Mid. So I don't want to say, the best I don't say my had. favorite pizza spot. Flatbread exactly. Company oh in, in in Boston. Really good. good. Gas. Um, kiss my slice. Kiss in New my York. slice in oh, New York. Great the pizza. Best. Um. See, what else? Pizza's is just not it for me. I feel like I haven't had like downtown Boston pizza, so I can't rate pizza there. I can. I think the I East Coast. It's not just Boston. It's all East Coast. I know that, Matt. New York pizza. I love like beach it. food. Like when you're at like the beach and like they have like the carnival pizza. food. Is so good. Carnival food's everywhere, though. No, but like, I'm nothing beats New England like fried dough on the beach. Oh, that's true. Nothing. That's nothing. True. Where, where does the carnival come into play? Well, like, fuck you, beach Nick. Beach and carnival <laughs> food is like the same thing. Like, I feel like I'm getting similar things. At the exactly. Beach the I think also, like, come on, like carnival what? and shit. What? Like, do you gotta like, what hey, 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 caramel apples, the festivities, fall in New England, literally <laughs> bodies West Coast, no. bodies it. Just Clears. the fact that the we're going apple picking, Clears. we're getting fucking apple cider donuts. Clear the the foliage. Just Woo! the fact Absolutely that the East Coast has seasons. Washes it out of the correct the agree. East Coast the argument. I think I think being in the sun in the, the West heat, Coast in the West Coast all the time is very overrated. Correct, I agree. Being able to experience all four seasons of life on it, the East it Coast, it shapes you as a person. It correct, does. literally, it does. If you don't have a winter, like you don't have like the winter. If, you're, if, if you didn't grow if up and you and cried and because you got snow blasted in your face as agreed. a little kid, like if someone agreed. snowballed or you, if you didn't, that's you need that to happen. If you didn't grow up, if you didn't grow up. Sorry. If you didn't grow up and you didn't get snow in your boots and you didn't shovel your driveway, you probably have a poor worth ethic now. And I don't Correct. write the rules. Correct. No, it's just as simple as like if you didn't if you didn't have to walk. What to are you school, doing here? Mowing your lawn? If you didn't have to walk Please. to school while wind and cold Gus, air, especially and snow carrying just your violin your or your flute. It's We're literally character building, and that's what I was saying, bro. Like, it's literally character building. Remember when we had to carry, when we you had to take a uh, strings instrument at, at the school yes. we went to, and we had to carry our Oh, my fucking, God. I had to carry my cello. I just think that, like, blocks. literally just facing every season and living on the West Coast and growing up there shapes you more as a person and teaches you more responsibility at a young age than people on the West Coast. I'm sorry. That's what I meant by what I was saying earlier. I fully believe it. Stand by it. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's the only people it. that are gonna have a problem with that. People from the West Coast. Whatever. Also, just like making friends, like in LA, like every single person that I've met in LA and like talked to, like everyone that I find out is from the East Coast. I just like love, love them. them more. I than, agree. Like agree. I'll, I'll find friends here and they'll be like, "Oh, where are you from?" And then they'll say like, "Oh, they grew up." But that's also not true because I have like multiple best friends here that are from just LA. Yeah, I have to do like the. The compass in my head. And that's why it takes me so long. Like I'm compass. delayed at speech. Oh, north, south, south, east, west. Wait, east. Well, <laughs> north, no. south, close, east. I west. have to do the whole thing in order to figure out which one's which. Yeah, yeah. Never so that's why. I've... Yeah. All right. But yeah, I do agree with that for sure. I just love East Coast people. We'll get to that. We're on food right now. Oh, what are just East Coast things and just West Coast things? Like, what trends, words, or East Coast things are just on the East Coast? There's so much, but it's like there really is. But I don't know any of them. Yeah. Um, I feel like if we just start thinking, we can find a lot. I think what the one that we... instantly comes to my head pocket is the book. Pocket book, dude. That's only like literally only like just Coast. Boston. Like that's or just like a trash that. barrel. 
Yeah, we used to say trash barrel, and all of our LA friends were like, barrel? Like, what are you, like, a pirate? Like a root beer? Uh, I was like, okay, yeah. dude. No, it's no. a trash barrel. Like, I don't know. It's like the, the bin, the rubbish tin. Like, no, they fucking, say the trash, they well, which makes sense. Like, oh, put it in the trash. Like, like I also say trash, but trash, like, trash the, barrel. Like, put it in the like, barrel. Like, it's a trash barrel. Yep. Uh, what know. else? What else? Ra- rotary. Rotary. A roundabout. What are you? Fuck off. Yeah. Uh, what else, what else, else do we have? What else do we have? What else do we have? I feel like, I feel like, um, what did, what did we get? I often, whenever, it's, when whenever it's cold out, I say it's brick because of like, like back home. No, that's very back home. That's also very New like, York. Oh, it's brick. That's very New York. But like, yeah, New York has its whole different like For breed sure. of just slang. But, um, like, literally, but like it's brick. Like the first time I ever said that in, in LA. Dude, we have people all of our, like, all of our like, friends though, like friends that we made out here. Definitely pick up on East Coast slang. A hundred percent. Like they have. Like there's no. You have no choice. There, yeah, you have no but choice to understand what we're saying. I think kid, like calling your friends kid, like what's up? We kid. do that way too much. Uh, very often. Matt's a huge buddy user. Yeah, like, buddy, kid, buddy. kid. Like those are like such like Boston also, angry like road like, rage like, words. Road rage is different on East Coast. Road than rage is West definitely Coast. different because West Coast they don't say anything. They just get out of their cars and punch each other. Where East Coast <laughs> you're just like you're just like. Screaming, screaming, whatever. Yeah. I got, yeah. I have my fair share of categories for yeah. what I say. Matt nowadays, likes to just but... like describe one article. Yeah, of like someone be walking by, like on the, the beat like someone way, cross okay, the backpack. Other... No, literally. all right, pink scarf. Literally, the other day we're scarf driving to Matt goes, all right, boots, ever. let's move it because yeah. he had big right, red boots man. on. Yeah, he just makes it was fun so of, like, funny. He just says something about an article of clothing. It's so funny, but yeah, no, it's brick, bro. I said that the other day. Um. But it, I also forget that, like, being bricked is, like, having, like, a boner. Oh, okay. yeah. So, like, the other day, I was like, That's oh, like, hilarious. it's brick out here, like, cold. And then someone thought I was just being weird, but I wasn't. Well, they were the one being I was weird. just cold. I wasn't announcing that I was bricked. Yeah. Okay. I, it was Moving brick. on. Sorry. That's literally what it was. Moving on. What, I feel like Cap. Did that start East Coast? I don't no. know. It gets all confusing. I'm, I'm not talking. I about don't like, understand any of this. I'm not this. talking about Nick. Like, I want to Google slang. it actually because I want to like know what's like East Coast slang. slang. Let's see. Um, like what did whack? We, that's East Coast. That's whack. Like I always say. There's that. no way that's only East Coast though. I don't know. That's what, what about said. candle pin bowling? Candle That's pin crazy. bowling, Nick. Great one to That's bring up. Great one to bring up. Every single bowling alley in LA is only the big balls. Like the fat It's also big crazy. Balls. Like candle pin is, I think, is only like Boston shit, too. No, but it's, it's also like, it's just weird because I remember the first time we ever came bowling in LA. I was like, oh, are we doing small balls or big balls? Because most bowling alleys it's in the East Coast, every day there's like two floors and it's like the small ones or the big ones. Or you're just going to like the small ball bowling or the just the big ball bowling. Like it's like, like you know ahead. Yeah. You have to like figure out what bowling, like what the bowling alley is going to supply. If it's gonna be the small ones, the big ones. They don't exist on the West Coast, and I was like, "Wait, that small doesn't ball exist." Bowling in so long, like candle candle pin, pin bowling Dude, is so it's fun, so much fun. It's like the balls just has the softballs. Yeah, it's like softballs, and then there's still ten pins, but instead of two, you get three rolls, and they're turn. smaller area. Yeah, and a spare is still oh, it's still the same. Yeah. Well, actually, I have no idea. Yeah, it's strike spare. I forget how it works a little bit. But no, it's so much fun. Candle pin bowling is so lit. It's the best. I feel like there's so much more on the East Coast as well that we're just not talking about. Like, I don't know. I feel like like arcades and carnivals are so. I feel like, like there's just more different. places like outdoorsy to go. I agree. Well. I I fully agree. Like, and it's funny because like West Coast has more like ability to do it because of like the good weather. But I feel like there's just so much more like nature and like outdoor activities to do. On well, it the also East depends because like I'm not a beach person, and like I yeah. we are, we live in the best place to go to the beach all the time. That's yeah. true, and that's not really our thing. Yeah, I hate the beach. Oh my god, I hate it. I like the I beach think, at I like the beach at night, but I don't like getting. Well, I, I like the beach. I do. I just don't like getting sand all part over of, me. Part of like for me, part of the fun with being like outdoors and doing outdoorsy things is like having to deal with whatever weather it is to be in that environment. Mm. You know what I mean? Is bet bet is just an East Coast like oh bet that's like to insane. agree with something. That's insane. Move on. I actually think that's true, though. I feel like not a lot of LA that people use insane, that. That is insane, like, Oh, bet. For sure. I say an agreement. That's crazy. That is insane. Or using the word mad as really. Like, that's mad good. 
I've said that. Or like, that's mad life. crazy. Like, that's really crazy. I've always done that. Nick, you seem stunned. Just thinking. Well, I'm just trying to think is if this is just like, like. Well, it's um, like if you Googled East Coast slang, that's what pops up. Like, yeah, it's supposed to be. Like, yeah. I don't know. To cop is to buy or grab. Obviously. Everybody I feel like knows everyone that. knows that. Good looks is like good looking out or good catch or like thank huge. you. I good hate looks that was one. so much. I hate yeah. that one. Like I remember that in school, I'd be like, "Oh, bro, your shoes untied," and all the kids are like, "Oh, good looks, bro." Like good looks. Like that I, one's really corny. Yeah, that one's I, actually awful. <laughs> I hate that. that. Yeah, good looks is bad. Um, what did we, I'm trying to think of? High I, one or else I don't like is the I'm straight. I'm straight. Oh, I'm straight. Like, I'm I say that way. Like, what, the I fuck? Said that what does way that even much? actually mean? Yeah, brick is extremely cold. I, I said that way too much growing up. Um, what does I'm straight even mean? Kid and He's son. Straight. A term to call a close friend, like kid and son. Son was huge in son high was school. Huge, like, bro. You're school. my son. Like that was everyone. I, we need some fun. I'm getting no, sick. No, this is stomach. so funny. I feel like, like I feel like picture certain kids in my head. No, literally, me school. too. And I hate That's them all. Me too. Real That's talk. Funny, like, oh, real talk. Real talk is just an East Coast thing. I don't know. No way, guys. This has to be wrong. Chris. I don't know. This is all like you have East to be Coast. like just reading slang words because I say all of these. I don't know, bro. What is like West Coast only? I don't know. I don't know, dude. That's bomb. Like that's really good. I hate, I hate that. I hate that one. Yeah, that one's. Mm. No, that's a. Mm. Nah, I don't like it. Meh. Next. All right, dude. Enough. Of okay. This yeah. Way. Yeah. We're done. Let me pull up the thing again. Jesus Christ, on, I have this to hide kid. my phone. I don't want all my text messages to be Oh my God, camera. Chris. This guy is just explode. fucking... You guys pull up the brief and fucking run the podcast then. Okay, I have it. I Fuck just, out of my face. Let's go, sunglasses. Screw you. All right. Um, fashion and aesthetic. Let's do it. I don't Nick, really, why don't you talk about it? I don't really it. think there's much different... Anything different. Oh, I feel like there definitely is. I will say... Um, like, weather-wise... Yeah. Definitely put it on more in... East Coast. Well, it's just, it gives you more of a reason to layer. Yeah. And I remember, like, I'm now currently used to, like, LA weather, and, like, I can go outside in, like, sweatpants when it's hot out and be comfortable. But when we were first coming here, I was, like, literally, like, shorts all year round, no matter the temperature. I was always so fucking hot here. Yeah. Because it's just I'm constantly in a state of dying of heat. And I hate it. I agree. I want to, like, wear jackets and, like, fucking have a thin bed comforter. (laughs) I can't do it. No, literally. I can't do it. I'm constantly, ex- insanely, insanely, insanely hot. No, it's like I an agree. actual issue. Everyone would be like freezing cold around me. I'm like, dude, I'm literally sweating my I life wake up. I, I wake hate up when motherfuckers say they're much. they're cold when it's hot as shit. It's like, shut up. No, you're not cold. You're not cold at like all. It's impossible it's, to be it's cold. Fucking, I'm sweating. If no, I'm literally. producing sweat <laughs> from the pores of my body and you say you're cold... It's, I take that as disrespect. <laughs> no, literally. Like, I'm getting dirty. I'm getting gross. If it's, I'm getting if filthy. If it's anything you're cold. above 65 and you're saying you're cold, you're actually just tapped in the head. No, for real. 100%. Like, you're actually just... People will come over our house and say it's, like, so cold here because we keep it at, like, 70 degrees in our home or, like, 68, 69. And it's, like... Get a blanket. It's really you're not... You're the first one to say that it's cold, though. Okay, because the the ACs... The AC works better on, my, on my floor... On my floor where the AC the is. The AC doesn't hit up here at all. My room is it also hits in my room and my bathroom a hundred million times. My room gets awful. nothing. I get nothing. I have more That's vents. That's why I get cold. I have more vents in my bathroom, it. which is worse. Oh my God, because yes. I get out of the shower and I'm just like, yes. like instantly like frozen. Yes, I've been taking cold showers too. And then you know that scene in Zathora where the girl gets out the bathroom? That's how I feel. The yeah, sister yeah, yeah. and then yeah. she just freezes? Yeah. That's how I feel. Yep. Every time I get out of the shower. Okay, but East Coast and West Coast like different whatever vibes aesthetic styles like what's different i feel like bro i feel like well it depends on the season that's obviously huge and what we brought up is like weather and stuff well it's like i also feel like we're at the point where like we're in the worst position to talk about shit like this because in la like in the creator world everyone that we know and that we're friends with tries really really hard to like have good outfits or fashion or like take photos and stuff like that's like everyone's job around us yeah. essentially and on the east coast when we go back we don't really have friends there other than our friend nate that we've been friends with our whole life yeah and then here we're in like our we're in our close friend group but then we also have like friends that are all in the social media space so it's like 
it's hard to determine like what the difference is in fashion there versus fashion here because like we none of us had a sense of fashion when we lived on the east coast and everyone we were surrounding ourselves with was just like the kids at our school with yeah. also no sense yeah. well of there's also and now that we're here people are like way more dressed up and taking it's also like different serious. life i feel like people, putting my west people like spits on when i'm back home i'm like the only one in the entire city that's trying to put a good outfit together no i agree i fully agree actually and that's why and i feel like another thing is like it also is just different like creator space and like like other people that just don't care about style or fashion yeah. because then it's like they're not gonna like try their hardest to like put a fit on but every that's, day that's and what that's i love like, about the east coast too is i feel like everyone who lives on the east coast is dressing more for comfort and like um like for sure for, people on the east coast dress more for comfort than they do style and then i feel like people for sure people on the west coast try so hard to like outdress each other that like yeah. everyone is trying like when we go out to eat at a restaurant and i see everyone like dressed up, i'm like this is like honest almost borderline embarrassing for everybody here trying so hard to look like really really good no because it's also I like, like just the east afraid. coast like what i what my main takeaways of like east coast style is is like like um, first of all, like every single day I ever went to high school, I wore sweatpants Same. and I didn't own my first pair of jeans until like senior year of high school. Like I never, ever wore jeans, jorts, cargo pants, nothing like at all during high school. It was strictly sweatpants like Same. every single day. And I feel like once something catches on in the school, everyone does it. Like high school For trends sure. in our school was insane. Like it just like everyone was doing the exact same thing like i remember like kids would start getting air forces everyone in the school had air forces i feel like that was kids, just a universal thing across the world yeah but i'm talking more of like champion sweaters like oh my one god one kid bought a champion sweater everybody has champion 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 Everyone's everyone if you didn't hoodies. have a champion sweater like sophomore year it's like, so weird how much more champion it's hoodies. so weird how quickly true like religion someone wore yeah. a true religion fit to our school once everybody has it's so weird to me how on. fast like trends happen yeah in school uh, it's so insane. It's dude. bizarre. Like, even like, spinners? bro, even fidget spinners. I was the first you fucking said it kid a million times. at our school to ever own a fidget spinner. And I, will put, I was yeah. actually, though. Like, I, actually yeah, you were, we were. I remember Chris owned a fidget spin, spinner like a month before the hype. No, for real. I really did. May I just say? All black one, too. Yep. Sleek. Anyway, let me add on to it. This kid Put at our school. I remember this kid at our school. Put your foot down. He went to school with like the Balenciaga shoe that was like just like that sock. Do you know who I'm talking about? So hideous. And Gross. everyone like butchered this kid. Like, what are you wearing? But it's I feel like he would have got away with that in LA and shit. I feel 100%. like just I feel like there's there's way less like care for like brands and fashion and shit in the East Coast. Like no one. Well, really it's also weird. Our perspective is so cute. Skewed. 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 That's the word. Our perspective is so skewed because, like, when we were on the East Coast, fashion-wise, we were in high school in fucking Somerville, Massachusetts, where nobody gave a fuck, and it was yeah. just, like, people were going to school. Versus, like, it's so... You can't say East Coast and West Coast because, like, our we, our version of fashion in the West Coast is with people that are trying way harder in the fashion space versus the East Coast was people at, like, our school that didn't care. But if yeah. you go to, like... If you get into like New York or you get into like for sure, like there's it's way so more like it's it's honestly just about like how populated the city is and fashion. I don't think that there's really anything that we can say. Yeah, I think that like there is things like like I think like adults in the um, West Coast try to dress more to the current like fashion of like youthfulness. Yeah. And I feel like adults in the East Coast like all rock the same like older women stuff yeah i agree you know what i mean yes like i feel like there's no like what matt got him <laughs> no but it's true but it's like no i feel like la old older la people try to be like more hip and like fit in you know what i, I mean? agree I for agree. sure like without question like i'll meet like a 40 year old here and then a 40 year old in the east coast and like just the style difference is like completely different correct you know what i mean like yeah no, i feel like that's no, what no about. dudes at our at in boston are wearing like like they're all wearing Timberland boots or like fucking like Nike shoes, and that's like about it. You know what I mean? Like no one's really gonna put that shit on. Like yeah, in Boston, where like you'll people. Well, it's so different with adults. Adults don't give a fuck. No, they don't care at all. Like East Coast adults just really severely dress for um. They dress for work that day, and then they keep their clothes on the whole day. Yeah, like literally, that's what it is. Real. But I think it's so lit though. Like so lit. I also love like, like. 
I always think it's funny, like the Timberlands that I wear all the time, like the Timberland boots I had, I love so much because it's like, bro, I literally get emotional sometimes, like when I look at them. Nick, stop laughing at me, bro. It's shaking your head. Nick's usually like, like making fun of people for. I literally I'm had not. I had these Timberland boots. I okay. okay. Why? I just hate Matt. Go ahead. Talk about shit. No, flame him right now. Say it. Why are you laughing at him? I'm not. Was he? I shook my head because you saying you get emotional over boots is like a relatively kind of funny thing. And then listen, Matt, the you say like, I get oh, emotional you thinking about said something at me. You said like whatever. You like jokingly yelled at me. Matt and Matt said Nick loves making fun of people. <laughs> <laughs> like what is a what a broad crazy thing? Like Matt takes whatever I say or do and ups it to the one millionth volume, and that's why it just exhausts me. Yeah, that's all. That's the only thing that pissed me off in that situation. That's why I got annoyed. Yeah. Another thing that I was going to say is... Boring! The boots that I had, like, that I still own, I went to high school with and I went to carpentry class and I actually used them for, like, work wear. Like, I was actually, like, using boots for their purpose of, like, carpentry and stuff. And, like, I needed them. And now I just use them just to, like, make outfits and stuff. And it's, like, sometimes I put them on and, like, damn, I'm so happy I never got rid of these and buy, like, new ones. Because these have, like, the most character in any body of clothing i own for sure like, yeah that's they're sick. the only shoe that i still continue to wear that i've had like since high school that i like actually authentically really i will say like for for me the th i would never leave my house without my backpack like if i'm leaving my house yeah. my backpack is either on my back or in my car and um it's the same backpack i used for all four years of awesome. high school and that's why i'm like i never really want to get a different backpack yeah again. the other day i was cleaning my room and i said to matt i grabbed like one of my backpacks from my closet and i said damn the last time i had this was going to biogen for a field trip in eighth grade. yeah last and, like i, I like it. i think about it i'm like damn i kind of want to get like an all black backpack or like a different backpack that like goes with all my fits because i wear it literally Every single time I leave the house, but I was mm -hmm. like, no, nah, I got to keep rocking with the same one I went to high school with. Yep. For real. That's how it is. I was going to say something, but I totally forget again. How many times have I you ever gotta, said like, that? You got to start writing shit down or, you, or when you forget something that you were going to say, just stop mentioning it out loud. I know. I feel like another thing about like East Coast style is people just like don't care as much about specific stuff rather than just like the brand. Like I know growing up in the East Coast, like. Like, I never knew what, like, a Jordan 1 was or, like, a Jordan no. 4 or, like, a Jordan 6 or, like, like Air Maxes or anything like that. I just knew that I liked Nike shoes. And, yep. like, uh, down to the specific stuff, like, I never really cared about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I feel like I feel like people – that's a whole nother difference is, like, actually specific items from the thing. Like, it's it's unfair to say East and West Coast, though. I know. I'm just talking about saying that. Though. I know. I, it's yeah. like, I, I just don't want people it. to think that, like, we're, like, saying it as if it is. We're talking East about the it's one city we like grew up childhood on. Childhood in our city versus what we live now. No, like, that's the really whole East Coast concept versus West Coast right now, the whole topic is not the actual debate between like East Coast and West Coast. It's debate between our, our childhood East Coast, East Coast experience yes. versus our adulthood For West sure. Coast experience. For sure. I just want to make sure that that's like a blanket statement. That was yeah. good, Nick. Also, Chris, I don't want no, to I'm just saying that was, I'm glad you said that out loud. I'm just tired of you. That. I think I'm that tired of looking at you. Matt, shut up. Go, Nick. That, so this uh, is uh, awesome. Uh, 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 the best shut part up, about up, having yeah. a neck ahead, is you can turn it and Go you don't ahead, have to look to at me anymore. Ball. Talk to him. The best ball. part about having a neck, you fucking idiot. Your head's on a swivel. You're not a fucking. That's statue. another East Coast thing. Like, that's a neck when someone do something okay, stupid and smack Matt, the neck. Matt, look forward for the rest of the fucking podcast episode. I don't want to look at you again. Go ahead. Um, I think that you often forget what you're going to say because you're a really good listener. Like if someone's talking to you, you're gathering the information that they're saying. So it's like if you have a thought in the middle of what they're saying, you still want to listen to what they say all the way through that the thought that you had doesn't overpower what you're listening to someone else say. I appreciate that. And I think that's true. Of course. And I think so as well. Thank you, Nick. I agree. Fuck off. Fuck you, Matt. Fuck him. I just I don't even want I don't even want to look at Matt. It's this also like, dude, I feel like it's such a different world in New York. Like, I feel like that's its own category because I hate to even loop it into like our city and where we grew up because I feel like our city like didn't even pop the out. The drama is you crazy. I mean? The drama. I just insane. seriously, I don't want to look at Matt. The again. drama is insane. Funny. He's driving me insane. East Coast versus West Coast. When How I was is on the East Coast? I was in drama club in fucking eighth grade, and Nick brought it here. Glad to see. You didn't what's something you would wear in LA that you would never wear back home? 
Um, Almost everything I own. Yeah. I think, like, dude, even, like, shirts with, like, big sayings on it or words, I hate. Well, that's just mom. <laughs> no, like, no, like, people can get away with wearing some crazy shit in L.A. Like, there's some brands that have, like, crazy sayings on them, and I'm like, oh, my God. Like, if I wore that I'm back sure, home, I'd be I'm a shirt punished. that just fuck you on it. Yeah, that's it's hilarious. Like, I'd never bring that one home. There's this one shirt that I'm thinking of, and I literally am Stop trying. looking at me. I need, I need to remember upset. what it says. That's crazy. Fuck, what did it say? It was this shirt, and I forget what it was. Well, it's like, if you do anything relatively outlandish on the East Coast, I feel like it's more likely to be like put under a microscope. It, it looks like you're trying too hard. For sure. Like you yeah. wear, like, for versus sure. like, yeah. Like living in a city like LA as well is like everyone is like, it's like a hub for like the unordinary. You know what I mean? I don't like know people why are, that's people are constantly, he's like, I can't even fucking a fathom. Hub? What is like that? Mean? A hub, is, a like hub a, is like a, like a, it's like, like LA, like everyone who comes here is like trying to be like an actor, or actress, influencer. Kid doesn't know what the word hub person. means. I don't. Like a lot of people that come here for why they come here is just like people, the people that will like tend to gravitate toward LA are like people with like outlandish fashion sense and like, like weirder, like unconventional hobbies and stuff. So it yeah. leads to people like being more, I guess, like visibly unique so it's like if you bring that to like the east coast or like even like south like like even during tour like being in like texas and shit like having your nails painted or being a guy that's wearing like pink you feel a little like crazy, <laughs> I, right? I do agree <laughs> so it's like i do agree like i feel like just things outside of big cities like new york and la like once you leave big cities and start heading somewhere else you're put much more heavily under like a microscope of like what is this weirdo doing i fully 110 percent. i agree with that as well thanks chris <laughs> Oh my god. You I don't even understand why I'm so aggravated at Matt right now. It's just like he's driving me crazy. Stop tapping. All right, let's debate. East Coast versus West Coast. We got three more categories: music, sports teams, and people and lifestyle. I I hate talking about East Coast versus West Coast music because I feel like there's so much everywhere else as well. You know I agree. I, mean? I was going to say that. Like there's so much Chicago, music everywhere. Um, Texas is one of like Produce some of the greatest artists ever. Fucking Texas. Name one. Yeah. Travis Scott, you fucking oh, yeah, idiot. Yeah, yeah, Love right, it. You're right. You're right. No, I was just curious. I need you to just Same name with like Iso Touchdown. Now. Yep. Like, literally, don't ever test me. No, no, no you're right. No, you're I was right. I was testing myself. Atlanta. Atlanta, Chicago, New York's huge. Yeah. Um, LA itself. Yeah, there's just so many like Canada. Florida. Florida. Huge. What are we just talking geography? Like, let's get Nick, shut your mouth. East Coast or West Coast sports, Nick, your favorite category. I don't know uh, a thing about East either. Coast, a million percent. Correct. East Coast embodies the West Coast in sports. Absolutely. Just saying. Absolutely. I just feel like saying. there's no debate in that. I fully I felt like when I was growing up, every year, a different sports team that like somebody in our family was rooting for was winning. So I was like, okay, correct. Good to me. I agree. Well, we also grew up in like the legend, like the dopest Celtics team ever. Like True. Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce, Rajon True. Rondo. The truth. Like they were all disgusting at Amazing. basketball. It was so much fun. Lakers and Celtics are tied with championships. Yeah, right until now. this year's over. Yeah, then the Celtics, Celtics are winning win. again. Yeah. Yeah. Some light. I, I also like Matt did earlier. I have nothing to say about this topic, so just like when you guys are done and ready to move on to the next one, I'm ready. To go <laughs> Sounds good. Wait, Another thing, I, that, now like, you got to talk about it for like. Wait, 10 what minutes. confuses yeah. me is like why the New York Yankees and the Boston Red Sox had such beef because it's like y'all are both East Coasters. Like, be go fight. Doesn't matter, California. But what coast you're on. I know, but like most of like big rivalries, I feel like are like coast and coast. I no? fully disagree. Really? Yeah. I don't know. Like the Lakers and the Celtics, like California and Boston, like big rivalry. I don't know. Like go be mad at the Dodgers or something. Sure. Shut up, Matt. You make me feel like an idiot. I feel you like I'm know, talking. You want to know? Like, I'm going to start my own podcast called Chris's Yap Fest. Notice how a- the conversation when I check out, because I, I don't know what to say. It just drops. I'm actually, I'm Correct, actually, that's what I was actually does. about to say something, which is so funny. Go ahead, Matt. I was going to say, I feel like the rival, what should be more rivals is like um, the fact that like New York has like two or three football teams. Three? I don't know. It is Stop three. Me. So it's like when they have three football teams, I feel like they would be the biggest rivals for like who's the best New York football team. Nah, they all just want to win together. Okay. They yeah. just want to win for New York. 
Correct. I guess so. I I would never know what to pick. Like if I grew up in like New York and there was like seven teams to root for, I like. I'd well, like, it's it's close. It's the same with like the city. L.A. Clippers. It's closest and the LA to city though. Late Matt. That one I don't get. L.A. Clippers and yeah. but like like what's going like, on? Which New team York, do I like? New York Giants, New York Jets, and um, Buffalo Bills. Is that? Is that is that a restaurant that's or no? That's right. Okay, <laughs> that a restaurant or a team. <laughs> Buffalo is obviously more Buffalo. New York Giants is more like the yes, city. I get it. Matt. And then I think the I get Jets it. is more like New Jersey type. I get it. But yeah, that's really East Coast sports though. Bodies West Coast Absolutely. sports for sure. Nick, what are come on, <laughs> Jack got in. What's the topic that you want to? And then the Patriots are just the best. I I don't know <laughs> anything were. about any of these. Okay, so we'll leave all these. Like we still have East Coast and West Coast. Like what are just some things you guys want to bring up? We're pretty much done with this this like structure, this brief. So, um, how long have you been filming that? Fifty one. Okay, yeah. So eight more minutes. We can deliberate about just our own thoughts and and our own, um. Let me know. East look Coast at him versus for West some Coast I can't look vibes. At today. So, who wants to go first? You you guys need a. I think you guys should hug. <laughs> I don't know why he's upset at me. You guys should either hug or fist fight. I genuinely don't know hug. why Nick is as mad as he is. I don't, I don't either. Know. I don't either. I don't either. I don't either. I don't know why I'm as annoyed with Matt as I am either. Maybe there's an eternal thing going on right now. Internal. Eternal would mean it would last forever. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, dude. <laughs> it's eternal it'll never end sorry your grammar is better than mine sometimes it has nothing to do with grammar it has or your to do with your knowledge you guys, whatever, you guys should but. fight i think you should just fist fight no we're good you Take sure no, i'm not touching you give him a hug nick i don't like touching people when they're bothering me I'm okay not, why am i bothering you, you? want to know what my thing is Matches. Oh, I what what it is that's bothering me is I just don't don't ask and then fucking put your head down. <laughs> <laughs> he asks what's bothering me. I go to open my mouth and he pretends to fall asleep. It's because I thought I thought that I was in the clear and you <laughs> said you know what and then you started. Like I just but like you gave me like a thirty second go Nick. Period. Go ahead, let it out. I didn't think there was Matt, gonna be shut up. Matt go just doesn't done. talk much, but when he does, he talks as if he does not give a fuck about what anybody else is going to say. That is what bothers me. Yeah, I agree. He's completely checked out of the conversation until he's the one talking. Doesn't act like he cares about what other people are saying or listens to them. And then just is constantly waiting for like his turn to speak whenever he wants it to be and speaks for other people. Wah, like, wah. What? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> wah, wah, wah. It's so annoying. <laughs> So annoying. <laughs> you are insane. Like this kid, like he, if, if there's numerous okay, clips look, of you look. laying down flat in this podcast room and someone could edit like a full minute montage of you laying down, then yeah, there's a give problem. Three more seconds. Yeah. It's just like be part there's of also the conversation. Just like, like we all have a also, microphone. It's also just part in of, front of like being us. like, Talk. it's also part of just being like, all right, physically can I say aware of your surroundings? Like my one camera for this podcast that we all know is right there. Matt's in a constant state of like throwing his mic, fo- throwing his mic forward and putting his feet up and laying down and leaning forward. It's like, you're blocking uh, when like, when I, I, think I have like I a it. creative brain, right? Yeah. Like, cause I edit our videos and I understand like the camera angles and stuff. I don't edit the podcast, but I know that when it's getting edited, Matt is going to be in the way. So sometimes when he does something physical that it also drives yeah, me I up agree. a wall. Okay. Like, why are Here's you Here's what I want to say. Um, I do care and I do understand and I do listen to everything that you guys are saying. I just feel like sometimes it doesn't look like I'm listening. And that's just a, a body language thing. Yeah, it's something to work on for yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. And then um, what was the other thing that you said? I don't know. Oh, you weren't fucking listening. <laughs> no, I, I think like listening. another problem is like Matt didn't know what topic we were filming today until we he sat down and I said it out loud on camera. That's yeah. also very true. So it's like, dude, just be a little bit more aware of like what we're the goal like is. Like the goal the of today. Yeah. Film I, got a podcast. I knew I was filming one. I just you didn't know, know the Like full. if everything's a shock to you and it's like a big surprise, like and you have no I like Going into today, I had like 10 things in my head. Like, oh, yeah, that, this is actually a good topic. Like, I really had some excited. thoughts of like, oh, what do I bring up? What are my experiences? Because I'm like participating to the oh. active. And then also, wow. I just like. That's hard. And then also, I just am like, I need to get comfortable. Like, if I feel like I'm uncomfortable, I can't do anything. And that's why, like, I'm always. Do you want moving. me to like make you hot cocoa and rub your belly and get you a hot soup? Like, no. Okay, how comfortable are we talking? Just like. I got leaves on my neck, so I like move my <laughs> yeah, head a little okay. bit. And then I put this here when I sit up so I don't. 
bump into it and then I bring it back over here. But then I realize my height's a little different. So I'm like, oh, maybe the camera's going to mess up. So then I go back down like this. So I only go up for like a split second. And then when I go back down, instead of my foot hitting the wall, I just put it up a little bit like that. But that's all. Blah, 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 blah. You're the all right. last Do we have ball. any final East Coast, West Coast remarks? Nick? I think for me personally, I think I'm just super biased growing up on the East Coast thinking it's like a better coast. I, I think agree. I just think like growing up, like fr I'm just going to speak not like versus versus whatever. It's just like my personal experience. I feel like that we should we definitely have to talk more about just like like we are in the position where we lived in both places. Like we yeah. had such like people have seen us live in both places. We have such different perspectives on and everything. both versions of us living in each place like place is so different mm -hmm. like the like me in la like and where i was from like s how old are we 17 to 20 when first started coming out here yeah yeah like 17 to 20 year old me was so different from like 16 to like dude 10 fucking years old you know what i mean 18 and a half year old me was so different from like it's now. so crazy so it and it's insane. mind blowing but like just to speak on my own like east coast like childhood i just think like East Coast, just not from, I'm not going to diss the West Coast because I, I have no opinion of growing up on the West Coast because I never have. And I feel like, honestly, like doing this podcast with someone who lived on the East Coast their whole life or West Coast would have been way better because it's like we could just have conversation yeah. or even like doing it like again with someone who has. But I just think like for me, Everything just seemed so special on the East Coast growing up. Like getting snow during Christmas felt so special. Living so close to family where everyone was like a 10 minute ride, like mm -hmm. your uncles and cousins and like your siblings. And like just like the school being super close, knowing your whole neighborhood, your city having like three parts, like, oh, the east side, the west side of the city. And you like know both sides so well. It's also just and like all like just the little spots to like meet up with friends and hang out. Yeah. Like just like it felt more like family and more like comforting. And like it made things like traveling to Florida for your birthday, like seem so extravagant. And it made things like like just building memories like you could go outside and play in the snow. You could like have a snow day from school and do something fun it's and as simple as being a kid yeah, yeah. Like just being a kid on the east coast and like going apple picking driving 40 minutes to like a farm going to like new hampshire and vermont and like maine it's also like and different beaches like i feel like like just shit was so like amazing as an east coast child it really was in my i opinion. also feel like with um la traffic and just like west coast like driving stuff when i drive to like say i drove to like a friend's house that lives like 50 minutes away that's a 50 minute drive to a friend's house that i'm going to spend a couple hours there and then i have to drive that 50 minutes back home if i did that 50 minutes together in one drive back home i'd be like three different states over from where i live in the same amount of time so it's just like crazy that like I feel like road trips and you can just explore more on the East Coast and you just like see more things. And I feel like that's why I love it there as well. Yeah. Nick, I agree. Yeah. I just think it, shit was so special as an East Coast kid. Like it, it like special is the best. So word. fun. Because everything just felt like felt like it had so much pizzazz and so much joy and so much fun. Mm -hmm. And it was just like, like, I don't know. I think being a triplet is also a huge role in like childhood and stuff. Which can be a it's whole a big, big role in everything episode. I know a whole deciding thing because it's like, like even like just creative shit. Like I felt so on my own creatively on the East Coast from everyone else around us, and like except for you guys, like you two were and Nathan and, and like Justin were the only people that I would express like my full thoughts because everything seems so out of reach on the East Coast. <laughs> like being like a YouTuber. And, like, yeah. building a career like this seems so unattainable and such, like, a big dream in, on the East Coast. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's no, like, VidCon. There's no playlist. There's no, like, meeting creators. There's no, like... Like, I feel like concerts... It's, like, the same way, like, concerts and live performances are, like... Like, you could throw a show in L.A. or you can throw a show in, like, fucking like somewhere overseas and the one in overseas is going to be way harder because people don't always have the gift to see like their yeah. favorite rapper or favorite creator. You know what I mean? So that's why I think like, I think just like being further away from where everything happens makes it more valuable and fun. I agree.
Ta-da. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode of West Coast versus East Coast. It was a good episode. I'd love to run this back with West Coasters, like two or three of them, maybe. I hated speaking today. Yeah, today was a weird episode. It felt like kind of strange. Really didn't like it, but whatever. It's hitting the internet, so. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Peace out. Thank you very much. You guys are amazing. You're loved. I just enjoyed filming another Monday podcast and Christmas podcasts soon. Wow. We have to take our foliage down. Bummer. Big bummer. But yeah, comment down below what coast you're from or where you live and <laughs> what your favorite thing about where you're from is. <coughs> Mine's guys- Poland Springs water, baby. That was a boring one. But anyway, thank you guys so much. See you next week.